Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and this is a quick video. A lot of you have been asking me about a security vulnerability that has been talked about uh, in the past few days and in Windows and it's a actually it's a security flaw that affects Windows 7 up to Windows 10. It's they tried to fix it at several occasions but there's always something that can be done to work around it. So, um, of course, Microsoft knows and it's still trying to do a fix. There is a company that made a micro patch to kind of change uh, a registry entry that makes this a little more secure. But overall, for those that have been asking me, so, you know, when you um, go in uh, a software, when you install software, you have something called the Microsoft installer or MS installer. And this is a routine that helps software install the packages in Windows so that once it's installed, of course, it works. Uh, and it's in that Microsoft installer that the flaw exists. But don't worry too much um, because it takes really takes um, a uh, somebody that actually executes from the machine. So you can't. Uh, really have that running or it's not a remote code execution or anything so from the internet nothing can be done except if you download a malicious software that would exploit this um, MS installer so hopefully um, I, I'm not going to actually share the link to the micro patch because I don't like um, sharing from third-party companies but uh, hopefully Microsoft will fix this. Um, so, like I said, it's it's not as you know, it's not something that you can exploit easily. It really you really need to execute that on the machine itself, in administrative level. So, if you don't have that, uh, if you don't install any software or anything new, uh, and if you do, well, just make sure that you install the correct software from the correct company. You know, don't install everything you see on the internet. It's a bad idea, anyways. And um, you will um, you will be safe. It's it's not that big of a danger. It is a flaw, but it's not something that is you know critical. Um, it's something that will be um, it's it would be probably in the category of important for Microsoft, meaning that it could be exploited, but it's not an immediate danger or it's not something you exploit from the internet directly. So it's a, a flaw that's been there for a, a long time, uh, and Microsoft tried at several occasions to fix the flaw. And uh, every time, after a couple of weeks, somebody says, well, you know, there's a workaround. That fix isn't actually fixing the problem. So um, that's, of course, uh, still there. It's a, it's a uh, Twitter user that actually has found that it's still you're still capable of exploiting this. So um, eventually, hopefully, they're going to find the way to fix it that actually makes sense and is okay. But don't worry too much about it. Um, you know, I haven't applied the micro patch myself because I don't believe that uh, it's needed. Um, it will eventually be fixed by Microsoft maybe next uh, this next patch Tuesday next week, uh, which is going to be this month on February the uh, 9th. So uh, Tuesday, February 9th. So maybe the fix is going to be in there. Um, a lot of you also been asking about the um, the Intel CPU um, fix micro uh, patch and uh, saying, well, you know, I don't see it. I don't see it. If you don't see it, it's because you don't need it. Just don't worry about it. Okay. If it is something that exploits your Intel processor, Windows Update has given you a cumulative, a small cumulative update or a micro patch update for the Intel CPU. If you don't say anything, it's not, you're not affected by it. I'm not, for example, I know because I have an AMD machine, but I also um, have an older Intel machine and it doesn't have that update in it. It's really, really a specific uh, set of processors that are affected. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.